hearts just humbled and it was painful and it was so inconvenient but it was to get us to rely on you to learn to pray about everything to trust in you father not having a table having to eat on the floor father or on the blow up bed not having furniture not having what we needed but you were there that's why nobody can step to me because you are the one who made a way you my eyes are only on you I know what you've done and I thank you for the for the testings to keep us humble in the name of Jesus going to Florida with everything leaving with little to nothing I thank you I thank you because now that we're going through these situations out there with the with the demon plague that's out there, we know how to survive because we went through the valley of the shadow of death. We've been through it. We know how it is to have nothing but to have everything. And so, Lord, I praise you this morning. And I ask for true humility to reign in my heart. In the name of Jesus. And so as I was studying about the bee, it says that the humble bee, you know, I was like thinking about the bee and I'm like, why is there a bee? Why is there a bee? Um, right there next to the humble was like, you know, taped across the item, you know, the that I was ordering. I think it was the hot fries. And... The, the 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 bumblebee, you know, they've called it the humblebee. The humblebee. And the reason why they call it the humblebee is because it hums when it flies. And so even though we've been going through a lot of obstacles, we were able to sing praises unto God. Right? We were still able to praise the Lord no matter what you're going through. No matter how humbling it is, how humiliating, or you might feel like you are being defeated, you must continue to praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And you couldn't just hum. I was just humming away yesterday, singing, you know, humming some gospel tunes. You got to hum to to let yourself hear that you are still alive. You got to hum to stay awake. Hum, if not the enemy will try to rock you to sleep with your pain. You know, if somebody's in pain or they get they get hurt and the pain is so much they pass out. No, you gotta keep on humming to stay awake. Get that oxygen going in you, okay? In the name of Jesus. And so it says, let's see about the um um it says the bumblebees, they flap their wings 200 times per second. God has given us wings to fly, y'all, to soar, to soar. He's going to show me wings as this week, wings. And I'm thinking about the eagles. He took me down the street called Lion and Lion and Eagle Street. And they that wait upon the Lord, humble yourself and wait upon the Lord, you will renew your strength and you will mount up on wings as eagles. Humility. Humility is going to help you to take flight. It's going to give you wings to be elevated. Just humble yourself. Okay, so 200 times per second. And it says that's a similar, that's um, similar to some motorcycle engines. And I believe in January, we're praying about engines. Our God was going to fix the engine of your marriage, the engine of your soul, and you're going to be accelerated. And there you go. God is, God is elevating us flight, giving us wings to fly. Those who've been humbled, you're getting your wings. Not to die and go off somewhere, you know, to give you a wing. No, we're talking about flying in this, this earth, soaring, being elevated. It says bees have to eat a ton. It's like a caterpillar. You got to eat the word of God. It says the bees, they eat a ton. And one person says um, they have a um, fast metabolism, extremely fast meta- metabolism. For those of us who are always going through warfare, you know you're burning burning that the food off. So you got to keep on eating the word of God. 
to eat continuously like the caterpillar because that's how you're going to be transformed. The more word you eat and apply and obey, right? And it says one person, um, I think it's a scientist, he said a bumblebee with a full stomach is only ever 40, about 40 minutes from starvation. So they're always hungry. It says the the bee this type, this type of bee um the bee sperm lives for months inside the queen bee didn't i say fertile we're fertile <laughs> and i was saying that a lot of babies are gonna be born around this time people in the house watch and i saw twins this week a lot of doubles <laughs> fertile we fasted for 40 days for, for god to make us fertile like to and be a much fruit the bee sperm lives for months inside the queen bee honey and so it says only the fat queen bee survives winter hibernation so we need to be eating the words we could be fat with the word of god break the anointing from our fat necks that's what the bible says the anointing so gonna break off the yoke around your neck Break off the yoke because your neck is growing to be fat by the anointing. <laughs> and so the, the fat queen bee survives winter hibernation and she's left to create a colony by herself, honey. And the sperm that's stored up from mating from the previous summer. Hear this? This is, this is the Jubilee message that I have in my belly that I got to release. From the previous summer, the, 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 um, the sperm is inside her in her ovaries. Okay, and then it's ready to be fertilized. It's ready to fertilize her eggs once she finally finds a nesting place. So some of, some of us, I posted on Facebook that we're in hibernation. We're not dead, and so we're in hibernation. It's it's, it's humbling, but we have greatness on the inside of us. And once we get to that place that God has taken us, He's taken us to a place. We're gonna give birth. We're gonna give birth. We're gonna give birth. Amen. And so by the end of the summer, when she's a little over a year, the queen and all her worker bees, they die to be replaced by her daughters. This is what it's about. It's about the next generation. It's about the next generation. In the name of Jesus. Whatever we're going through right now, we got to go through it. Go through it the way that God says. Humble ourselves so our children can 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 imitate imitate what we're doing, right? Mimic the word of God. And so it says so much, so much about the queen bee and all that stuff. But I just wanted to focus on the fact that that's that's where they got their name. That's where they got their name because you know they they're humming, okay, and they have oil on them. It says they have smelly, smelly feet because bees, like all insects, are covered in an oily film that makes them waterproof. So we need to have the oil of the Holy Ghost, the oil of gladness, the oil of the anointing on us so that we can be waterproof from any demonic flood. We need to be covered in it, covered in the oil. Let me get my oil. Right now as I'm talking, anoint myself. Symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. And I put on my my um essential oils and such. Your perfume. Amen. And so it says, when they land on a flower, they leave their chemical signature behind. So wherever we go, we people keep we gotta leave the mark of Christ. The anointing. And other bees can smell these oily footprints left on flowers and know not to land on the same place don't land on the same place the nectar has already been um, pillaged and so it gives us discerning of spirits it gives us wisdom knowledge understanding when you have the oil of the holy ghost you know where to go where not to go amen and so it says bees also use these footprints as a sort of smelly welcome home mat the scent helps them find their way back to the entrance of their nest. So direction. God has given us direction in this hour. Pray attention. Welcome home. God is healing the homes. Healing the homes. I'm talking about our home as far as our spiritual man, us. 
but also our families. Amen? Welcome home. And we welcome the Holy Ghost into our homes in the name of Jesus, into our hearts. Lord, I thank you that the prodigals are finding their way back home. Thank you, Jesus. The lost are being found. The lost souls are being found in the name of Jesus. Father, send your angels to help us. I cover all of us in the blood of our families, our possessions, our nations with the blood of Jesus. It says the, um, the bumblebees use their wings for, for the AC, for air conditioning. So if it, when it's really hot, they all get together and they start flapping their wings to cool down. Okay, because because if their temperature goes above 111, 111, if it goes above 111 degrees, the bumblebees will die. So the workers join in and they begin to um, flap their tiny wings near the entrance, near the entrance to let the, the air in, to let the ruah of the Lord come in. Flap your wings and praying and fasting. Flap them, flap them, flap them so you can get that, 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 that the fresh wind. 